Hey, this is John Carlos, coming to you from Inside Corner Store Comics, where we're going to take a look at the big behemoth that is the Hot Toys Camouflage Tumbler. I recommend cutting a small hole in the bottom of the box lining. That way you have a little bit of airflow when you pull the main box out of this cardboard box and you don't get that air suction. And here's a quick look at the outer packaging. Instruction manual right on top. If my assumptions are correct, these grooves represent the back rear tire, so I think you're going to want this side on the ground. That will be all facing up. Ooh. Mmm, take in that factory fresh smell. Packaged into the styrofoam are the airfoils. These little signs say handle here. I recommend that you follow them. A word of warning these red rods you're gonna to want to keep those in there for a bit they lock the wheel in place when you're ready for the wheels to roll you'll pull them out but if you start trying to wheel this thing around with these wheels locked in you're gonna do some damage to your tires so here's how you're gonna open the top up and down a bit and then slide it in and then slide both pieces back and don't forget there are plastic linings on the inside of the windows too all right the tumbler comes with eight air flaps and here's how you assemble them This takes three AAA batteries. I recommend when you're putting this back on, the entire weight of this kind of comes down a bit so you can lift this a bit to reattach the battery compartment. So the cockpit has some fun moving parts, like his computer. and gear shift thingy 
which goes all the way down. The driver console also slides forward to better put your Batman figure in, or Bane or whoever. And here's a closer look inside the cockpit. Here's his front display. Now there's stuff over on this side and on this side too, but it is quite hard to get a shot of it. I'm shooting this with my crappy little cell phone. But with any luck, you're seeing the left hand side of the inside of the driver's cockpit. Now I'm not saying they would ever joyride together, but Batman and Bane, as figures, fit rather nicely inside the cockpit. The details on this are pretty great, like the black ring of exhaust around the back flame pipe thing. The black tires have like a gray paint that shows kind of with the worn tread. And plenty of scuffing along the front panels of the tumbler. One cool feature about the front tires, move one, the other one moves. One little word of warning. Be really careful with these little flaps. The plastic is extremely brittle, and I would hate to find out that you bought this and then broke the flaps. If you have the money and the means to buy this, go ahead and buy with confidence, because this turned out awesome. The tread on the front tires, the detail on the tread on the back, all the scuffing and the dirt all over the surface. The light up function is a really neat feature. Obviously this is built to one six scale, but what really impressed me is that two six scale figures can fit inside the cockpit. That's pretty rad. Whether you're going to plan on buying this, or you're just watching the video to get a good look at this cool, cool vehicle, thank you for watching. It's got a cop motor, a 440 cubic inch plant. It's got cop tires, cop suspension, cop shocks. It's a model made with four catalytic converters, so it'll run good on regular gas. What do you say? Is it the new Batmobile or what? Fix the lighter.